What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I don't have anything particularly planned. This is going to be kind of more of a, I don't know why I have these headphones in, a uh, rant or ramble video type of thing, but just a little update on what I'm doing, Japanese and such like that, because it is a week into February. Am I still going? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'm still going strong. I'm still listening to Japanese several hours a day, and it's really, really helping. Um, I'm really getting into that point where I know what they're saying. I don't I don't know what they're saying. This is annoying me. Why is that in here? I don't know what they're saying, but I know what they're saying. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't just sound like a stream of sound that doesn't have any start or stop. Like, I can differentiate the words, um, and that is huge. So there was actually, I can't remember what it was. I was listening to something the other day, and I heard the sentence, and I was just like, I wonder what that means out of curiosity. Like, because there was one or two words that I picked up, and I, I could translate it. Like, it was, it's pretty cool. So that's helping me a lot, being able to do that. Um, I haven't touched Japanese from Zero this month so far. Um, I do plan on getting into that. I am still doing my two uh, lessons a week italki sessions, which has helped a lot because it's actually got my verb conjugation pretty well. Um, I still struggle a bit. Yesterday's lesson that I had, I had a class last night, and all we did was work on the ing ending, so the uh, uh, iteru or like teru verbs. And stuff, um, and and some of the verb endings kind of confused me on that. Like um, one, one that I kept doing instead of saying like kiteru, I would kiteru, and I would double double tut, which turns it to cutting instead of like listening. Uh, I think that's the way it is. Point is, I was mixing it up to where I would say cutting instead of listening. Obviously, context, you know what I'm saying, but um, so stuff like that. Uh, but it's honestly going pretty well. Mizu o no, well, no mimas. I dr I drink water, but I am drinking water. Would be mizu o no, no iteru, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, the point is, is I'm learning. So I'm getting into a phase where um, I'm kind of at a point where I'm a little bit more intermediate and. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm not in any way, shape, or form past anything, probably more than an A1. I'm probably pre-A1 still in Japanese, and that's okay. I don't mean I'm B2 when I say I'm intermediate. What I'm saying is I've kind of moved along in sentences, especially in, like, Lingo Deer and stuff, where it's there's only so many three-word sentences you can use. There's only so many plug-and-play of I drink gyunyu milk. Kohi, I drink coffee, okay. I drink ocha tea. There's only so much of that you can do before you move in. So like I'm working on stuff like um Osaka Kare, uh Tokyo uh Ma oh, Kara. Sorry, Tokyo Kara Osaka Made Jitensha de um uh Ikimas, right? So or Ikimashita. So I went from Tokyo to Osaka by bike. Like, I'm starting to get more complex sentences, so it's kind of, uh, you know, you burn through the first half of Lingo Deer, and it feels really, really good, and it gives you this big confidence, like, okay, yeah, I'm getting through this, and then it's just like the real world hits you. Uh, but honestly, it's pretty, it's not bad. Like, I'm getting used to it. Um, again, sorry, this video is just a ramble. Like, I, I, I kind of like these just talk things versus having like a planned script sometimes so but anyway um so it's getting a little so I'm, I'm working with some of that stuff um and then i was working with my teacher on stuff so apparently made can also be used for like it, it's like from um or uh kata sorry kara kata so like from so you could say like amazon kara uh hon o uh so I bought this book, or, well, I would, uh, technically, I guess it would be, um, sorry, I completely messed it up. Uh, it would be from Amazon. So Amazon Kara, uh, hon, Amazon Kara, Kono Hon, uh, o Kaimashita. So I, I bought this book from Amazon. And so, like, um, just learning how to use things in a little bit different uh, in a little bit different of a manner from that. And then I've worked on some of the commands, like tabete, like eat, right? Or um, walk to the room. So hea de um, aruite, right? 
アルアルアルクアルアルノ I still need some work on that command.、Uh, so, and talking it out lets me know that. So,、um, but anyway, so yeah, we're, we're getting into some stuff like that.、Um, vocabulary wise, I'm like,、uh, it's just kind of a random、uh, bit of stuff. Like, I learn and have not really any problems learning words like, right? Which is like, take out cup, something to take coffee in, out. Like, I can remember that, but then I struggle memorizing other vocabulary that would be useful. So there's that. But I guess that's just the struggles of language learning.、Um, one of the big things that I do want to try to do this coming month and from here on out. So I've been staying up past midnight every night. I have to be up at like 7 30, 7, 7 30. It's not going to bed at midnight. I'm up until midnight. So I'm not falling asleep until 1, 1 30, or 2 o'clock in the morning. I have to be up at 7, 7.30 to get my son up, go to work, all that stuff. And、um, I, think, I think I'm going to try to be a little more efficient with my time.、Uh, I'm going to try to hit my Japanese earlier because I do study a lot late at, at night、um, because as soon as I get home from work, I'm playing with my son and stuff like that. But、um, I think I'm going to try to be a little more efficient with it. And I think、um, I'm going to try to start getting in bed. Earlier to kind of see if that can help a little bit of mental clarity. I think that getting in bed and getting rest can honestly help me.、Um, I've, you know, I've done some research on people talking about sleep. <laughs> I've done research on people saying sleep's necessary. I've done, you know, people talking about、uh, ample sleep is, is obviously a big part of stuff. So、um, I want to do that but、uh, and, and see if that can kind of help.、Um, the other thing that I'm working on that I'm going through right now in Lingo Deer, everything is a freaking counter. Everything is a counter.、Um, and there's so many,、uh, there's so many, like, I don't want to say exceptions, but like,、uh, my phone's over there. I'm charging it because it's almost dead because I've been using it all day. But、uh, there's, it, there's so, many, so many different variables. So, you know, obviously, if you know anything about counters in Japanese, There's a counter for flat objects. There's a counter for just things in general. There's a counter for books.、Um, there's a counter for people. There's a counter for big animals. There's a counter for small animals. There's a counter for foods.、Um, and then within those counters, there are basically、um, just words that don't fit the pattern. They're just exceptions to the rules. So. Uh, I can't think of one right off, of course, but、um, it's just, you know, trying to go through those. Now,、um, I did talk to my teacher, and he said, you know, try not to worry about that stuff too, too much,、um, and it'll come in time. I did make a mem- I have a memorized deck that I actually u s e that I made just for me、um, of vocabulary that I'm learning specifically,、um, which has helped a little bit. And I did make an entire section for counters, and I made the counters. And I made every exception that any of the categories had from 1 through 10.、Um, and I think that that's going to help、um, a little bit getting used to them. But, you know, I struggle. Single word vocabulary、uh, cards, especially in a language like Japanese, is, is not very beneficial to me、um, outside of just getting used to them. So I don't know. Ho- hopefully it'll help a little bit, but we will see. So,、um, but yeah. I don't really know if I have much else to say outside of just、uh, honestly, things are going good.、Uh, this video may not have made you think that, I guess, but it is going really, really good. I'm really,、uh, I'm really, really happy with my progress in a month and a, a couple days, a month and a week. Well, 10 years, as I said before, but I really, fi- this is the longest that I've studied as far as continuous and for this long、uh, each day.、Um, and I'm really, really happy with the progress. I think that,、um, I think that I'm doing good. I don't play, you know, I don't think that I'm going to be、uh, able to speak it at a great level over the next couple of months or anything, but it's fine. Like, and what's keeping me going is, well, A, I'm having fun with it this time, and that's a huge thing, but.、Um, I、um, just seeing where I was a month ago and struggling, like some of the stuff I was struggling with, like with weather and especially like some of the adjectives, right? Like I kept being like, okay,、um, it's hot outside, hot, okay, hot is atsui. And then thinking like you have to past tense it and you don't make the verb past tense. So, like, if you're saying like、um, this year, 
well, th- this year would be, I guess, current. Last year, um, you know, last year, last year it was hot or wasn't hot. So if you're pa- if you're past tense negativing, negativing it, making it negative past tense, you know, it's uh, uh, kiln in. Um, last year was hot. So I guess you would have to have a, uh, you know, like you could say like, uh, what is spring aki? I think. Uh, uh, I'm struggling to. Uh, it's been a long time since I've thought about spring. So, but uh, aki wa or aki um, atsu kunakata des. So it's you negate the adjective, not the verb. The verb is still des, which is current, present. You know, or or, or you know, not past tense. So you actually tensify. <laughs> that's I don't know if that's the correct word. You tensify. The adjective, um, but that stuff is not too bad for me now. Like, um, the, I, obviously, I'm gonna struggle with I adjectives and NA adjectives, um, but I think that that's par for the course and just getting used to when, um, like, I know, um, what is it, you may? Uh, that's the, like, famous you, you may. I don't remember right off. Uh, so, like, some of them you have to use, um, you have to use na in between the adjective and the thing, and then and then the i adjectives you don't. Um, and so I'm gonna look that up real quick. <sighs> Famous is okay. That is not. It is not that at all. Uh, or was it famous? Yeah, it's like you may Japanese. The definition of you may. Okay, I don't think that's right. I'm gonna have to look that up. This is a. Uh, to say, let me see. Let me just go to Google Translate. This video probably sucks for you guys, but, um, but yeah. Honestly, though, outside of this, me talking about whatever I'm talking about right here, it is. Uh, it's been really, really good. I think. Um, yeah. You, you mean? Oh, okay. So it is an in, in, in a adjective. Yeah. So you, you may. Uh, so like, famous book would be you may no. Uh, you, you may na han hon. You wouldn't say you may hon. You have to have the na in there. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video because it's been going on forever. How long has it been going on? Like ten minutes. Um, but that is it. I just wanted to do just kind of a ramble update, man. That's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm still going strong. It's been a very, very good process. I've really enjoyed uh, learning. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm still, still going, still making progress, slow, but sure progress. And that is what matters. So, uh, I've had an influx of subscribers later. Super cool. Thanks. Welcome to the channel and all that stuff. And, uh, I'm going to end the video here because this video is almost 13 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.